All right, hello. Good evening. Boy, this music does not match what I have in store for us tonight. Like, at all. Is there a sad... Just chill. Beat? I need the opposite of that. Possibly ambient. This is probably a little accurate. Hi, good evening. Uh, tonight we are uh, playing a bunch of indie games again. It's Indie Game Wednesday. Uh, so I used uh, Pokemon Freak's wonderful um, racial justice bundle randomizer, and apparently my computer was uh, in, a, in a vulnerable place today because, and I'm not kidding, the games it gave me back to back were all sad, or all seemingly sad games. <laughs> They're just sad and or reflective, shall I say. Um, but they all seem interesting, so, uh, yeah, tonight we're gonna have some emotions. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna have some emotions. Or not, I don't know. We'll see how they actually pan out. Um, nice uplifting stream, yeah, no, yeah, it's totally the opposite. Though, so, admittedly, um, so, the games I have, uh, one is called... Down. Just about have an impression. Uh, there's one called Quiet as a Stone, which is a very reflective kind of world builder thing that looks really interesting. Uh, there's one called The Stillness of the Wind, which is like Harvest Moon, but sadder, I think. And then one that's in early access that I'm actually really intrigued by, and I'll probably come and revisit um, when it goes full access. Uh, called Long Gone Days, which is a, a modern RPG um, about kids who are basically bred for war, I think. So yeah, real positive one tonight. Um, but they all do seem very interesting, so I didn't want to just, like, toss them out because. So, uh, yeah. That's what we're gonna do. So... Uh, let's just get started, I guess. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Uh, shockingly down is not in the category picker. And by shocking, I mean absolutely expected. Um, actually, hold on. You know what? One sec, I get it tomorrow. Water. Resolution, graphic quality, yeah, let's do it. Pause. And then views upper right. Okay, that's the edge of the map. Excellent. Oh, hold on, what was the control scheme for this? E to interact. Got it. Please ignore the spring of the mic. This game has got next to no sound, by the way. So, cool.
Okay, so we're on a loop now, I take it. That first note was different though, wasn't it? That one's the same. Okay. Well. Well. That, uh... That was something. I hope whoever made this is doing okay. Don't really have uh, much else to say about that. Uh, as a person who uh, nearly committed suicide themselves, um, there's a lot there's a lot there that I can I can identify with. Uh, the inability to forgive yourself is definitely there. The no one really, or the feeling of no one really uh, caring about you. Um, the the being your own worst enemy, uh, your own worst voice in your head. Um. Aim does a pretty good job with that. And it's frustrating too. Um as as, you know, someone who's been uh through this particular journey at least once to see someone putting it down like this and reading it and just how frustrating it is uh to be the pilot you know, in this case, with, you know, zero control over, you know, the outcome. It's just a story being told. And all the, just... All the, the just the rough things, you know, this person is telling themselves. And, like, none of it's, none of it's true. Right? That's, uh... That's always the rub with it. Uh... Like I said, the voice in your head is uh, your own worst enemy. Um, yeah. It takes a lot to be able to, to well, put it down <laughs> like this. Yeah, I just hope the uh, person or people that made this are doing okay. Uh, that that's one of the things about depression is they could have made this game and it could have been a very cathartic, uh, you know, thing for them, externalizing it, you know, putting it into something, so you can interact with it at arm's length, and help kind of help put, you know, uh. A face on it in in a manner of speaking you know it's, it's a it's a more tangible thing and then you, you like it's you observing it as opposed to it being you know in your own head so i hope that's what this was for this person or people but it's, <laughs> it's brave to put this kind of stuff down and to release it for other people to experience so yeah
That one's going to be a fun clip. I'm going to have to put a content warning on that one. For sure. There definitely wasn't one on the games page. Because had I known uh, how that was going to uh, end, I probably wouldn't have picked it for the stream. <laughs> totally honest. At the very least, I would have given a content warning at the top of the scene. 